Every year there seems to be a new wave of young talent bursting onto the scene. But there's something to be said about having a veteran presence on a team. Even with the never-ending carousel of new players coming up, these old guard continue to stand strong and compete. Here are the five oldest players in the professional scene. Number five. In season three, Vulcan Zick Smithy was one of the best junglers in North America and helped the team secure a spot at Worlds. After Vulcan became XDG and eventually completely fell apart, Xmithy was the only member to land a starting spot on a roster to open 2015. With CLG, Xmithy became one of the most consistent players on the squad for two years. When he was swapped with Dardock in 2017 summer, people thought the much younger Dardock was the better option. In his only season with Immortals, Xmithy was voted as the first team All-Pro jungler as the second oldest player in the league. Don't want a 50-50 C9, actually in a pretty precarious spot. Xmithy gets strung, propels for starting, goes into the pit though, pumps the zone, it's it's just Smithy. buying time. Damage, still there, but Smithy, he got oh, it! Got it. Got it. Got it. Not able to take him down, and Immortals are gonna save the game. He heads into 2018 with a Team Liquid roster full of veterans. Number 4 A few months the elder of Xmithy, BRTT has been one of the most popular Brazilian players since 2012. He has three domestic titles to his name and in 2015 was part of the first wildcard team to win more than one game at Worlds. Even though he only played two games for Red Canids in the CB LOL Winter Playoffs, he still had the second highest kills per game among 80 carries in the regular season. BRTT will join his fourth different Brazilian squad for 2018 as he signed with Flamengo Esports back in December. Number 3 well, we've got a bit of a theme on the list. BRTT's former lane partner with Red Cannons, Diud, first made noise with Against All Authority back in Season 3. In 2015, he became the first foreign League of Legends player to receive a pro esports player visa in Brazil, and he's been in the region ever since. Diud played just seven games in 2017 CB Law Winter for Red, but he remains on the roster heading into 2018. Number 2 The first member of this list born outside of the 90s, Lemon Nation has been a strategic leader in the scene since Season 3 with his trusty notebook. After three years with Cloud9, Lemon announced his retirement in 2016, but eventually joined their Challenger squad and qualified for the 2017 LCS where he played under the FlyQuest banner. Lemon struggled at times, much like the rest of the FlyQuest roster, but the beard will return in 2018 behind the green wall of Optic Gaming. Number 1 He may not be a household name, but QTV did make some noise at All Stars 2016 against Soaz. 28, baby! <laughs> Still got it. I mean, is maybe he's too big because Soaz. Oh, he's got Q back up! He got him! Oh, he got him! He got him! Soaz, it's over! Oh! QTV! It takes down the 1v1 king from earlier. Look at him, he's happy. Not only is QTV a player, but he's also the owner and manager of his team, Friends Forever QTV, playing under the sponsored name ROG Friends. QTV only played three games in the summer season of Vietnam's Mountain Dew Championship Series, and in all three of them, he played Heimerdinger. QTV is listed as a mid lane sub for 2018, but you never know when his patented revered inventor will make another appearance. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.